Hi, I'm Rick, and today we're going to talk about the SEL 3555 Real-Time Automation Controller, or RTAC. This is the latest addition to the RTAC family, and it has all of the same features and functions of a regular RTAC, plus some other things that we're going to talk about today. It has some really great features. First of all, the processor is an iCore 7. You can get it in dual core or quad core. It comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Cooling fins, which you want to keep clear when you're installing the unit. SSD drives or solid state drives, which are in the front and also USB ports in the front. To configure this, normally on an RTAC you would hook up a USB cable to it and then hook up the USB cable to your PC and open a, a web interface so that you can connect to it. But on this unit we can do it locally. So I have a monitor here that I'm connecting to a DVI connector here in the back. There's DVI and there's also a display port. So with adapters you can use HDMI or you can use the VGA cable. I'm going to use a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard, you can use a wired one also. And I have the little wireless dongle here so you can plug it in the front or like I said, any of the USB ports, so I'm gonna plug it in the rear. I have my monitor connected, I have my mouse and keyboard connected, I apply power to the unit on one of the load sharing power supplies. It comes with one, but you can order it with two if you have two different power sources. There are two copper ethernet ports, two serial ports, and there's also PCI expansion cards to allow you to have eight more Ethernet ports or up to 24 more serial ports. The unit comes with one PCI card that has six serial ports available. This unit is kind of unique. There's not a BNC connector for iRig B input. You actually use the iRig B going into a serial card and the iRig B coming out of the serial card to go to your end devices as well. When I fire it up, the web interface immediately comes up I can create an account just like normal, like I cover in the other RTAC videos. And here I can set up the user account information. I can set up the interface information for the, the IP addresses and things like that. And all of that information is contained in the manual. Also, there's a really cool feature that if I have an HMI on here that I've loaded using Diagram Builder software, I can just click on this HMI and have it up all the time there in the substation or, or wherever it's installed. Also, if I go to um, accounts, user accounts, there's an option to have an auto login feature. So if the unit resets, somebody cycles power because they're doing some maintenance, they turn it on, the unit comes up, and it will automatically log in and go to the page that I want it to go to, which in this case would be my HMI. So they don't have to log in and go and then navigate through the web interface. And that's pretty much it for the SEL 3555. All the other, the configuration of the project is done in Accelerate RTAC like a normal RTAC. The configuration of the web interface and the viewing of the HMI can be done locally, as I mentioned, or you can do it remotely with an Ethernet connection. And the Ethernet uh, default IP addresses are contained in the manual. And if you have any other questions, then feel free to give us a call here at SEL. Thanks.